In 2010, in Mosul, I was attacked by three people. They stabbed me 12 times, yelling, apostate, kill him, kill him. I spent 15 days in the hospital under intensive care, but I thank the Lord. He gave me a new life and I left the hospital. However, just a couple of days after that, ISIS invaded Mosul. I took my family and ran to Erbil, Kurdistan as a refugee. We spent almost 10 years in the refugee camp. I declared my faith in Christ in 2007. I was a Sunni Muslim and I came to faith through a dream. I saw Jesus in my dream. I saw his story of crucifixion. I was shocked. After my dream, I went to a local church in Mosul and got a Bible. When I read the Bible and the story of crucifixion, I was stunned. It was the exact image of the dream I had before. I was shocked. I stopped reading the Quran and applying any of the Islamic teachings in my life. I kept reading only the Bible. My love for Christ grew stronger. I longed for him every day I read the Bible. This was before I had my kids. I got married in 2005 and declared my faith in 2007. The Lord gave me six children afterwards. I taught and shared the story of Christ to all of them. I tried to tell my wife and share the Bible with her, but she refused to believe it. She stayed with us, but not as a believer. The news spread among my family members in Mosul. They disowned me and cut all communications. I was persecuted and threatened by all my relatives. It was so hard to bear and live with. In Erbil, my daughter spread the word of God through social media, and through that, we were introduced to help the persecuted. They saw what she was doing and contacted us. They told us to come for the Enduring Faith Conference that was held later that year. They baptized us at the conference. My daughter and me. My wife filed for divorce at the time because of our faith. My wife told the police and fought us over our faith. We were severely persecuted and the danger rose quickly. After six months, I had to take my daughter and leave the house. They were closing in on us. The house is no longer safe. I took my daughter and fled the country. We came here. We left with nothing, but help the persecuted provided a safe house for us to stay in and took care of us since we arrived. God sent them to us. We had no money to buy food at the time. They saved us. We had nothing, but they gave us everything. They blessed us physically and spiritually. We cannot thank them enough. We thank the Lord for them. It was hard for me to leave my mother and relatives behind. But we had to flee for our lives. It was dangerous. But I thank God for helping us leave and for guiding us to spread his word someplace else. It is my purpose after all. I do miss my family. But God comes first. I thank him for keeping us safe all these years. I pray for help the persecuted every day so that they may continue this work and to glorify God in everything they do. I pray they will continue to minister to others and bear fruits so they continue to serve the Lord.
I cannot thank you enough.